what Trump did is a global thing now, right? You know, like Putin didn't have to win the Cold War. He's won this war, you know, in a way, or he's, he's winning this war. You know, he's allowing the sort of authoritarian oligarchy system to become very appealing on large parts of this globe. And it's being fueled by anger and disenfranchisement that isn't real. You know what I'm saying? Like people think they're not getting theirs, but they are. You wake up in the morning, you got yours. If the sun comes up and you're breathing, there's hope in your life. If your heart's beating, you got a chance at redemption. You know, it's one day at a time. We should, we should view this the way you view addiction. You know, when, when, you're, when you're trying to get sober, you don't think about like, well, how am I not going to drink at my wedding if I give up drinking today? No, you just give up drinking today. Your life becomes 24 hours at a time. What's the next right action I need to do? You know, where are my feet right now? How do I stay present? And that's what nature can teach us, right? Tree knows where its roots are. Trees sitting, you know, a tree bends in the high winds, right? It doesn't get brittle and break off. It bends, it changes. And that's what we need to do. We need to understand that everything that we experience isn't necessarily out to hurt us. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. a lot of this stuff is based on fear. That's what Trump and these guys manipulate, fear. Haitians are coming to, no, they're not coming to do anything to you, right? They're looking for a safe place to raise their kids and a decent place to live and work and contribute to a society. They will be heroes. Let them in.